I should give one advice to people who are thinking of moving to other areas. It looks very bad in the beginning. Everybody knows more than you. But you have something they don't have. You have come from, a new, from another field. You have seen things they have not seen. You can think of analogies they will not think of. For example, condensed matter people had a very good idea of the Higgs mechanism before the particle physicists found it because it occurs in superconductivity. So people moving from one field to another, sometimes they are slow, but sometimes they have a lot of insight that will never occur to people working on that field full time. So that's what I tried to do, try to find little gaps where I had an advantage over my competition. And always, uh, whatever we learned before is useful. My father would always tell me, don't forget engineering. He said, you learned it, don't forget it. And that's a good advice because uh, even though I'm not an engineer, I learned from engineers that it's very important to be able to calculate real things. Don't make wild scenarios because you're not in Hollywood. You're trying to describe the real world. And engineers are very pragmatic. They're not interested in the theory because it's beautiful. They like it because it works. And that has been part of my sense of values, even in my new life. I try to do things with some better on the real world. So that's how I changed into condensed matter physics. And these problems, like quantum Hall effect uh, or topological insulators, they are all topics in condensed matter physics. Mm -hmm.